All right, I'm going to show you a very interesting scripture in the Epistle of Jude that perfectly describe Jack Smack 7 7 and his wicked mocking of repentance and his hatred of biblical repentance, humbling yourself before God. Uh, I'm going to show you something very interesting from the Epistle of Jude, beginning at verse uh, Jude 1, verses 3, down to verse 16. Hopefully, the followers of Jack Smack 7 7 can handle 16 verses, not just cherry picking one verse out of context here and there to back up their false gospel like to do with John 3 16. We're going to read from Jude 1, starting at verse 3 down to verse 16. Okay, just make sure I'm screen sharing. I'll begin. Let me just full screen the thing so I can see it better. These blue light glasses, these blue light canceling glasses really do help though. Cancels the blue light rays that really hurt my eyes, but let's get right into this. Jude, uh, beginning at verse 1 down to, sorry, beginning at verse 3 down to verse 16. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and to and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints, which is what I'm doing. Verse 4, interesting here. For there are certain men crept in unawares who, let me just move my mouse, who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness, and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm. Interesting little side note on that. You know, turning the grace of God into lasciviousness. What does it say there? Um, ungodly men crept in unawares. Um, you know, ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men talks about turning the grace of God into lasciviousness, and it goes down to more details later on. But you go on Jack Smack 77's channel, and he has GTA 5 gameplay. And, and he's like, his followers are like trying to defend GTA 5. Um, GTA 5 is a very wicked, violent, disgusting game. It's full of all kinds of drugs, alcohol, um, you know, binge drinking, alcohol, you know, drug abuse, nudity, you know, profanity, just violent, you know, graphic violence, theft, all this stuff. It's rated 18 plus for just, you know, sexual. Uh, imagery, sexual, ex sec explicit sexual imagery, but he's defending that, you know? Like what Jude 1 4 says, turning the grace of our God to lasciviousness. Ungodly men. That simple. Verse 5, I will therefore put, in you, put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that our Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believe not. Verse 6, and the angels, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains of darkness, uh, under sorry, everlasting chains under darkness, unto salvation of the great day. And, uh, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, verse eight. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh despise dominion and speak evil of dignities. Hmm. It's kind of like Jack Smack 7 7 mocking biblical repentance with this little Ricky repentance video. You know, speaking evil of dignities. Despise dominion. Verse 9, yet Michael the archangel when contending with the devil, uh, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, the Lord rebuke thee. And I say the exact same thing to Jack Smack 7 7, the Lord rebuke thee. For your mockery of the biblical gospel, your mockery and hatred of just coming to God as a broken, contrite sinner. See, he's a child, he's a he's prideful. That simple. And what does James 4 6 and 1 Peter 5 5 say? God resisted the proud, but giveth grace to the humble. Look at verse 10. But these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally as brute beasts, in those things they corrupt themselves. Hmm. Speak evil of those things which they know not. You know, Jack Smack 7 7 lying and falsely accusing people who preach biblical repentance of being work salvationists and saying you have to turn away from all your sins and be sinless. He speaks evil, but he doesn't know what he's saying. He speaks, he's speaking evil of the things which he knows not. And same thing with his little followers. I've been accused by his followers of being a sinless perfectionist, saying you have to basically stop sinning and turn from sin to be saved. I've never taught that, okay? When I say repentance of sins, I'm saying you come to God in God the sorrow for your sins and a broken contrite spirit. That's all. Okay, you don't have to stop sinning to be saved. That is a heresy. That is works. Okay, Jonah 3.10. Jonah chapter 3, verse number 10, identifies turning from a sinful action as works. Okay? 
you turn from your sins after salvation. When you repent of sins for salvation, you're just coming to God in godly sorrow for your sins. And according to 2 Corinthians 7, 8 to 11, I don't know why it's so repulsive to some of these guys. It's ridiculous. It's wicked too. Uh, verse 11, Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the error of Balaam and perish for reward and perish in the gain saying of Kor. Uh, verse 12, these, these are spots in your feast of charity, when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear, they have no fear of God at all. They're without fear. Jack Smack has no fear of God at all. Otherwise, he would not be playing a wicked, disgusting, uh, violent game like Grand Theft Auto, which is full of alcohol uh, abuse, drug abuse, sexual uh, explicit images, and nudity. They're without fear. Clouds they are, without water, carried about the uh, winds, trees whose fruit withereth, without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. He has no fruit at all. You know, he doesn't produce good fruit. He does not produce works meet for repentance, according to Acts 26.20. Why? Because, he ne why? because he's never repented. He's never experienced true salvation. Look at this. Raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame. You know, like his followers attacking me for saying he shouldn't be playing a game if you're if he's claiming to be a professing christian why is he playing a game like a violent uh just a game all it's a, essentially grand theft auto it's all about crime it's all about stealing things killing people robbing people you know and i say it's wrong for him to play that and claim to be a christian and his followers come on and defend defend him playing that game what are they doing foaming up their own shame wandering stars of whom to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever and Enoch also, uh, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with the tens of thousands of his saints to execute judgment on all and to convince all their ungodly among them, among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed. Again, like playing Grand Theft Auto, like mocking biblical repentance, like, ju like justifying all kinds of wicked sins. And of their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against them, Verse 16, these are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts. Again, like in back in verse 4, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness, walking after their own lusts, trying to defend, playing a, a, a violent, bloody game like Grand Theft Auto. And their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. Perfect description. You know, Jude 1, 3 to 16 perfectly describes these wicked people who try to who associate with jack smack 7 7 and it describes jack smack 7 7 and the likes of people that are you know follow him and try to defend his wicked actions and hate the thought of coming to god in a broken contrite spirit godly serve your sins according to second corinthians 7 8 to 11. they hate that what are they they're trying to grace of our god to lasciviousness they're ungodly men that's simple they go on the way of cain so I wanted to show you guys that perfect description of Jack Smack 7 7 in those verses, Jude 1 3 to 16. So, I want to show you guys that. Again, I had to speak kind of quietly because it's late at night and my family's all asleep. So, just wanted to just quickly bring that up in case you're wondering, you know, oh, why is he so, you know, tired or whatever. I have this, like, when I do videos at nighttime, I have to speak quietly because I don't want to wake my family up. So, because I work the night shift, so I have to obviously keep it down when I'm awake at night, when I'm not working, basically. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.